Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's story. We have a, a story from Japanese children's favorite stories. Uh, this is um, assembled by Florence Sakade and illustrated by Yoshisuki Kurosaki. It's a wonderful little book. We've read several stories, and this story is called Monkey Dance and Sparrow Dance. Once there was an old woodcutter who went so far into the mountains one day for firewood that he became lost. He walked for a long time, not knowing where he was going, until he suddenly heard music in the distance and smelled the wonderful aroma of food and drink. Climbing to the top of a hill, the old woodcutter saw a great crowd of monkeys. They were eating and dancing and singing, and drinking a sake that they had made from rice. The sake smelled so good that the old woodcutter wanted some for himself. The monkeys sang and danced beautifully, much to the old woodcutter's surprise. Then one of the monkeys filled a gourd with sake and told the other monkeys that it was time for him to go home. The other monkeys wished him farewell. The old woodcutter decided to follow the monkey to see if he could get some of the sake for himself. Before long, the sake gourd grew too heavy for the monkey to carry. He stopped and poured some of the sake into a small jar. He put the jar on his head, balancing it carefully, then hid the gourd in the hollow of an old tree and went merrily on his way. The old woodcutter had been watching all this from behind a tree. When the monkey was gone, he said to himself, Surely the monkey won't mind if I just borrowed some of his sake. So he ran to the hollow tree and filled his own gourd with some of the sake. This is wonderful, he thought. If this sake tastes as good as it smells, it must be very fine indeed. I'll give this to my wife if I can find my way home. While the old woodcutter was lost in the mountains, his wife was having her own adventure. She was washing clothes under a tree when she noticed the sparrows above her having a party. They were drinking a sake that smelled so good the old woman just had to have some. So when the sparrows had finished dancing and singing, the old woman quickly tucked one of their sake gourds under her robe and hurried home. I'll give this to my husband, she thought, and if it tastes as good as it smells, it must be very fine indeed. No sooner had she arrived home than her husband also appeared, having finally found his way. I have something for you, they said at the same time. They told each other their amazing stories, then exchanged their sake gourds and drank deeply. The sake tasted delicious, but no sooner had they drunk it than they both felt an uncontrollable desire to dance and sing. The old woman began to chatter and jump around like a monkey, while the old woodcutter held out his arms and chirped like a sparrow. For first, the old woodcutter sang, One hundred sparrows dance in the spring, chirp a chirp, chirp a chirp, ching. Then the old woman sang, One hundred monkeys making a clatter, chatter, chat, chatter, chat, chatter. They made so much noise that their landlord came running to their house. There he saw the old woman dancing like a monkey and the old woodcutter dancing like a sparrow. Here, here, said the landlord. This will never do. A woman's dance should be graceful and ladylike, like a sparrow's. And a man's dance should be bold and manly, like a monkey's. Not the other way around. When the old couple finally stopped dancing, they told the landlord their adventures. Well, of course, he said. You've been drinking the wrong sake. Why don't you exchange gourds and see what happens? After that, the old woodcutter always drank the monkey sake and danced in a very manly way. And the old woman always drank the sparrow sake and danced in a very ladylike way. Everyone who saw them dance thought them very lovely and started imitating them. And that is why, to this day, Men leap about nimbly and boldly when they dance, while women are much more graceful and bird-like when they dance. 
That story was called Monkey Dance and Sparrow Dance from Japanese children's favorite stories. Thank you so much for listening. Good night, everybody.